Referrals and diagnoses for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder are up 30% at Rady Children's Hospital during the pandemic. So this was something that obviously has caught our attention. Dr. Willow Jenkins is a child psychiatrist at Rady's. She has some ideas for what's behind the increases. Just spending more time with your children, you're getting more data. So I think more parents were able to recognize, hey, my child is, seems to be struggling more with their ability to concentrate, their ability to focus. Jenkins says ADHD is a clinical diagnosis. It requires a pediatrician, psychiatrist, or psychologist to determine. There are still these myths out there that ADHD is not a real thing. <laughs> That's absolutely not true. We know for certainty it is a real diagnosis. Um, and so some of these myths do persist, but really the tide is changing. Jenkins says having ADHD is not a bad thing, and schools play a large role in framing it in a positive way whether that's giving kids more time on tests or allowing them to take exams in quieter rooms. With many schools closed, summertime can be less structured for kids, which is tough for some. Keeping up some type of a structure during the summer is recommended. Now, for some children, though, school is really where their ADHD symptoms cause them the most difficulty because that's when their concentration and their ability to focus on things they don't want to focus on is being stressed. So they might find the summer actually to be a very positive time. Jenkins says roughly 60 to 80 percent of kids with ADHD will use medication at some point. She says it can be effective with managing symptoms. During the pandemic, the CDC reported large increases among kids using prescription stimulants. Not everyone needs medication, though. Having a more structured environment or things like physical activity can also help. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.